Okay, buddy. I'm going to max you back. We're going to go ahead and paint the car now today. And uh, I got you back in the booth again. And uh, once again, I hope the spray booth is not causing the camera to shake too much because I bolted this booth down. And I think that's what's going to be the vibrations. Now it's bolted to the table, which the camera is fastened to. So that might be what's causing the vibration. But I don't remember it having it before. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. And uh, we're going to use the fine center red, which um, I have the motor already done in. And uh, I probably should just wait and do it in a separate video. But here's the motor done in the fine center red. So this was the, the, um, the car is trying to look like. And uh, I missed a day. The we're like two days behind of what the primer because of the car. I went ahead and laid down a, some white on it, which was the house color white. Um, I thought the car being all one color was just going to be too much, and uh, I wanted to have something on there to break it up. And uh, when I laid the white down, then taped it off on that body style, it just didn't quite look right. So I had uh, scratched up, put some primer back down over it again. And I'm just going to go, go ahead and do it all in this color. And then I'll see if I can't put something on top of this. Or maybe see if it doesn't just look okay with just this on it alone. Um, so we'll see. We're going to go ahead and paint them and see what it looks like. Then today we have the um, the fan tip put on the airbrush uh, for the paint. I use it for paint alone, the fan tip. Um, I don't use it for the primer and I don't use it for the clear coat, just the paint alone. And we're going to up the primer, up the paint pressure, a uh, good uh, 10 pounds because you can see on the bottom of the bottle here we do have flake in this. So I'm going to up the pressure by 10 pounds of PSI to spray this flake. It makes it come out a little bit better. So we're going to shake this up. Take my cap off the, off the uh, bottle there. I'm going to start with the hood, the back side of the hood. So I'll get that out. And uh, let's stick it to the little skewer here. Yeah, that is skewered. Maybe the paint shook up. I should have already had it up. I didn't think that far ahead. <clears throat> I was sitting here watching a movie when um, I decided to go ahead and do this. But uh, it shakes up pretty quick, so I can see we're all shook up now. We're all shook up. So, we'll go ahead and fill this up. Side. course I'm right in so all the paintings get done wait for you at least on this part Done. So you can see the other side of the hood looks good. 
so that will be dry by the time we're done with the car. Then I'm unsick this. Put brown, stick it back on the stick again, and paint the uh, outside. So now let's grab the car here. Pull it out. Grab a hold of it. And uh, hose unstuck here. Get back on my screen stand. So we're just filling about half full again, so it's about a cup and a half so far. Of course, I probably had to go inside the hood to do, so it might take a little bit more.
I'm going to spray the, uh, you see the door jams a little bit more. So I'll put this in a hot box and I'll spray the um, top of the hood. And I'll pull this out. If it goes on so light, door jams, it just kind of hard to fill them up with that fan tip. But I'll just dry up a little bit. We'll do the top of the hood now. And uh, we'll pull it back out. It again. I'll put it on the hood good and heavy because if I don't do the hood again, I don't want it to match the car. I'm going to put another cut on the car here. So. so here's the hood done. We don't do anything else to the hood. So you can see it's nice and, nice and done. Flash on for a while, but I'll get over under the hood and your earth lights here in a little bit. <clears throat> Shut to you. Wasn't quite sleep today. I probably put a coat of clear on it, but let's pull the car out. Let's see how we are on this car out. Here. Almost a copperish, reddish copperish color. Would look good with that white on there. Okay, I should have left it on there. I'm size 2020, they say.
Okay. So there it is. It's all around put on it. So I'll do another video when I get ready to put some fair coat on it. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.